Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka The Only Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install mods using the Forge Mod Loader in Minecraft 1.7.10. For this installation tutorial, we're going to be using a mod called Ender IO. It is compatible, as you can see, for 1.7.10 right there. So let's go ahead and download it. There is a link to this mod in the description if you want to check it out. So uh, go here to download now. Three, two, one. It will eventually start counting down, I promise. Uh, when it does start counting down, there you go, finally. Uh, it'll come down here, say keep all that stuff, download your mod, whatever it may be, from whatever website it is. Once you've got it downloaded, and I'm also assuming you have Forge installed, by the way, so there's a link in the description, as well as on your screen right now. And at the end of this video, that'll take you to a installation tutorial on Forge. You can get Forge installed, it's really, really easy, go check that out. Nevertheless, once you've got Forge installed and your mod download that you want to install, installing a mod using Forge is very, very easy. Simply uh, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R on your keyboard at the same time. Type percent a p p d a t a percent. Hit enter. It'll take you to a place called Roaming. Go into dot Minecraft, and then you want to go into Mods right here. If you don't have a mods folder, no reason to panic. Just simply create one. So let's say mine just magically disappears, and I don't have one. New folder mods enter. Now you can simply double click on that and take your mod, in this case Ender IO, and drag it over into your mods folder. Now if we go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, I'll show you guys how to launch Minecraft Forge. Once you're in the Forge mod loader, it's very, very easy to choose Forge. Simply go to the profile you want to play. In my case, that's going to be Dead Buddha. Hit Edit Profile, and then come over here to Use Version. We don't want to use Release 1.7.4, or probably what you're on, 1.7.10. We want to scroll all the way down to the bottom to Release 1.7.10-Forge. That's how we can launch Forge. Click that, click Save Profile, click Play, and bada bing, bada boom, we're launching Forge. It might show you a black screen, and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, and that's simply Forge loading up, getting everything ready. This black screen is normal. It'll show Mojang here in a second. There you go. I'll meet you guys in the game. Once you're in Minecraft, it's very, very easy to see what uh, what's going on here with your mods with Forge. Simply go into mods, and as you can see, right there it is. Ender IO already installed, ready to go. And uh, that's in the mods folder there. But what about in the uh, the single player and the creative? Is it there? Probably not. That's just a warning where I had other mods installed. They're no longer installed, and those blocks are missing. Nevertheless, once we've got that, we can go ahead and hit E, and then hit search items, and just type Ender. And as you can see, there are Ender IO stuff right there. Held shift for all of that. Anything else Ender IO right there and uh, right there. So there's tons of Ender IO stuff in here now showing you that the mod was successfully installed. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to install mods with Forge as well as an example mod on how to install Ender IO. You can check that mod out in the description if it looks like something you might be interested in. It's uh, basically a way to make machines in Minecraft. It's pretty cool. Anyway guys, I'm Nix Games. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below if this video helped you, if it did, if it didn't, all that awesome stuff. I'm Nick's Games again, and I'm out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. Unless it's my Titanfall live commentary, in which I go and play some Titanfall, the brand spanking new Titanfall game mode called Marked for Death. And uh, it's pretty good. I actually had some fun playing that game, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys will go check it out. I thought it was a pretty good video myself. Another good video is on the right. Classic Craft episode 23. 22, my bad. Wrong number. I failed. Nevertheless, that video is kind of a failure video, but it's kind of funny too because I thought I recorded a whole entire episode of Crisis Craft or Classic Craft, but it didn't. I actually didn't record any of it. So I kind of explain that in that video, show you what I built, and do some other stuff. So go check it out. It's uh, it's pretty good. I think you'll get a good laugh out of it. Also check out my daily vlogs in the bottom center of your screen to see what I'm doing every single day of my life. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out. Peace.